Whether you're planning on purchasing a tax deed property uh, before a tax deed auction, or if you assist property owners with claiming the surplus money after the tax deed auction, you need to know if there are any liens on the property that could affect you. Um, each of our websites has an area where you can access a page on each of the counties that supplies you with the links that you need. What you're looking at is Florida Tax Auction, and this is for the pre-auction tax deed records for those who either want to contact the owners and buy ahead of time uh, before the auction, or maybe they want to participate in the auction, so you want to check out the properties first. Tax Auction Surplus is our surplus website where we supply you with daily uh, surplus records, and surplusdatabase.com is basically the same thing. We supply you with the uh, daily surplus records, but we also give you a business website and an online database to organize your records and help you uh, facilitate the process of performing your asset recovery duties. And then we also have floridaoverbids.com, which gives you all of the client forms, the claim forms um, of a surplus tax deed uh, course that you can um, go through and uh, you can ask questions on each of the counties and you get a membership to Florida Overbids for free if you join either Tax Auction Surplus or Surplus Database. Now if you are on Florida Tax Auction, which is the pre-auction uh, tax deed records, you would uh, go to My Account and click on County Pages. And this gives you a link to uh, each of the counties in Florida. And I'll just open up uh, Charlotte here to show you. And here is a link to each of the items that you would need. Plus there is uh, statistics and a lot of other information on each of the county pages. On Tax Auction Surplus, uh, you would go to My Account and then choose either the basic or the extended and pro level items depending on what membership level you are on. And then you would just scroll down to the last link, County Websites and Links. And what that does is bring you over to FloridaOverbids.com where you have a link to each of the counties. Because like I said, if you are a client on Tax Auction Surplus, you do get a free membership on Florida Overbids. And then you'll have a link to each of the counties where they have all of the links to the county pages that you need. Plus again, there is more information on each of the pages. And if you are a member on Surplus Database, you would go to My Account and then go to Florida Records. and county websites right here. And again, uh, you have to make sure you are logged into your Florida Overbids free account because each of these links go to Florida Overbids and opens up the correct county that you want. And that is how you would access the county information pages from each of our websites. Counties do change their links a lot of times, so anytime you encounter uh, one of these that is not working, you can submit this form to us and we can uh, get the correct link for you. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get the property information report. So I'm going to go to Broward County and I will click on Tax Deed Documents. And uh, I'm just gonna go into this date here. And let's say this is the one I want. This is the tax deed number. So I would just click on it. And if you find that it, the PDF does not open, um, try Internet Explorer, because a lot of times uh, the Broward County website will not work with Chrome or Firefox. So try Internet Explorer, which is what you're seeing right now. I have to use Internet Explorer. And then once it's up, 
I'm just going to come down here and click on the save button and, and I'm just going to put Broward in front of the name. Now I've opened up the property information report and I'm going to look for the liens. And they're not here on the first page. They do show the title holder here. And now here we go on this page. Uh, any mortgages would be right here, which there are none. And then here is another lien um, for Sunshine City Management. Now with Broward County, you do need to be careful because if you notice, this says lien holders and other interested parties of record. Well whatever appears down here might not be a lien, it may just be an interested party who wanted to be notified of anything that happens with this property. How you will know if it's a lien is one, it'll say it right here, and two, they'll have an instrument number or a book and page number, which this is it right here. So this is a lien that we're going to look up. Now we want to go to the official records website for Broward County so that we can look up that lien. So once I click at the, on the official records icon, um, what we're looking for for this particular one is called an instrument number, not a book and, uh, book and page. So I want to come here to instrument number, accept their conditions, and then for the, in the instrument number box we just type in what it says. search and it's this first one so I'm going to click on that it's going to open up the lien document and let's see right here um, it says that they owe monthly management fees for these particular dates for a total of 1950 but they also owe the legal recording fees of 500 and interest of 1491 so you would need to add all three of these together to get the total amount that is owed.